Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. <laughs> Once again. I know it's been a while since I filmed, like usual. You know, um, if you missed the last haul, I had mentioned that I was pregnant, which I know I probably should have <laughs> done a bigger announcement video than that. And truth be told, we were gonna plan to, but... We just never had the time to get around to it. So, anyways, I am 37 weeks pregnant now. So, we're going to give the Shein or Shine, however you want to pronounce it, curve a try. And before you write down in the comments, yes, I do have a pimple. And does it want to be seen? Yes, it wants the spotlight. But we're not going to try to focus on that. Just like Mizuki wants the spotlight all the time. So anyways, I may or may not try these on. It's mainly just to show you. Um, if I do try something on, I'll have it up in the corner. Or I'll put it at the end of the video. Also, sorry for the lighting. Um... I don't want to turn the lights on, so you're just going to deal with whatever light is coming from the window. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. Also, if <laughs> I know something isn't going to fit me now, or probably won't, um, after I give birth and a little sometime after postpartum, check out my Instagram. I'll... I'll try to post pictures of what what the items look like, but anyways, without further ado, let's begin. So, um, I actually got two accessories. Let's see if I can open them. This first thing is this little necklace that came in this little pouch. If I, this might take me a second to open. See, is there a tab? Hmm. Sometimes they. Oh, there it is. It's, it's at the bottom. So I had picked out this cute little bat wing. Bat necklace. I almost said bat wing. Yes, it's just a wing. No, <laughs> it's actually just a bat necklace. Um, hopefully you can see it. If not, I'll show up another video. Sorry for my nails. <laughs> yeah, I definitely haven't got them done or painted them myself like, in, lately in a while. So anyways, that's what it looks like. It's just a plain bat, nothing special. Mm. Next, I got these, um, hair clips. And I thought these would be cute um, on my baby. There's even a pair, I guess, for me or a spare. Um, they're just these little hair clips. Uh, they feel like they're made out of foam, which makes sense because they were only like a dollar. But um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I'm putting these on right, but there. Does that look good? Can you see them? Are they cute? Let me know. Oh, okay. okay. I almost thought they got caught in my hair. But yeah, they're just these cute little clips. Yeah, there's actually quite a few spares in here. That's cool. I thought that was cute when she's a toddler. You run around with little bat wings. And we could be twinsies, too. So, next, let's start with the only set that I have. Um, I hope this is a set. Yep. So, I got this cute little... Halloween designed well it says lingerie on the site but 
And just this cute little pajama set. You know, you probably could just wear this as a top if you really wanted to. But I love the print. It feels like um, swimsuit material almost, but not quite. Um, it doesn't seem to be see-through. I don't know. You guys would have to let me know. I did get this in an extra large and it has this cute little lace bit on the top. Yeah, I did get this out on sale. I don't know if it still is now, but um, I'll leave a link below with everything if you wanted to check it out yourself. So there's the top. And it comes with these cute little shorts. Now these feel a little bit thinner than the top does. They got a lot of stretch. So maybe they <laughs> could fit me now. I doubt it. And if I do try something on, I might still be wearing maternity leggings. <laughs> Fair warning. So it may not be the coolest outfit in the world, but it's going to work. <laughs> Next, that's weird how it comes in a different plastic. And has the usual zip. Just throw it on the ground. So I thought I'd add a little bit more purple to my collection. So, on the side, we have a little zipper. Ooh, gotta be careful with that. But, um, it actually goes pretty far down. I'd say this goes like halfway down your hip or whatever. Uh, and if you hear a bunch of noises, that's my cats. I got one on the floor and one on the bed next to me. <laughs> you know, Mizuki's always in the video. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Just a little nervous. Because <laughs> I don't want this to break. But. This might fit me, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of stretch. I did get this in. A 0XL. The other thing was a 1XL. So we'll have to see. And if something doesn't fit me right now, or even after, I might just give it to my sister or find someone else that'll want it. But the fabric feels pretty nice, pretty soft. And these are just full leather straps. They don't really hook to anything, they're just there as decorations. You see they don't continue on the back. Um, but yeah. It's just a knee length skirt, you know, because who wears pants? Um, that's cute. Next, okay, okay, so this is the only thing that I got in standard because my usual size before the before I got pregnant was 8 to 10 so like the standard size sometimes if I had to I'd go I'd go to an extra large but um because I was mid size it's, you know it's difficult to say this I might throw a picture up because it'll be easier to tell but um it is just velvet and it does have stretch to it, like a little bit of stretch. So maybe I could try squeezing into this. I don't know. There is a zipper on the, um, how would you want to say this? Like the choker part. Um, has this nice lace print. It's cute. I always love lace. And the bell, it does have bell sleeves, of course. Um, I don't know what that string was that was attached to it, but, yeah. 
And I thought this was super cute. This was also on sale. I think it was on sale for 26 I can't remember. Uh, okay. Let's try this. Okay, so this is another cute little spooky crop top. I don't have many crop tops and I thought this would be good for summer. Um, yeah, it's just plain on the back and it just has a cute little heart rib cage detail. This is also supposed to be off the shoulder, so if I do try this one on, um, I'm not wearing the prettiest of bras, and I am not complaining. It's just a sports bra, and that's why you're just gonna have to deal with it. If you see see this in a try-on clip, <laughs> so it does feel very lightweight, but it also feels kind of fleecy. So maybe it'll still be a little warm. I don't know. But how cute is this though? Mm. Next. Next is this other crop top that I got in 1XL. Oh, I didn't say what size this is. 0XL was the other one. Okay, so this is another lightweight. This is kind of see-through, like I can see you through it. Hello. Um, and as you can see, on the front and the middle, it has this cute little uh, plastic, you know, it feels like plastic more than metal, um, butterfly. They had lots of butterflies, so I don't know. Is, is butterflies the trend this season? Crazy. You see, there's nothing on the back. Um, I didn't notice this before, but it's a high-low crop top, which is interesting. But, yeah. It'll definitely be good for the summer. I have to watch what bra I wear. Because it is pretty see-through. Because I can see you completely. Mm. Lastly. is this knitted skirt that I got in a size 0XL. There is some stretch to it. So this is another knee length. Of course, <laughs> if I try this stuff on, it's going to look weird with the bump because I am so close to my due date. Um, but. Like I said, look look out for on my intro. <laughs> Ooh, I cannot go a video without messing up my words. <laughs> look on my Instagram to see what um, the outfits are gonna look like later. But this is actually feels pretty nice, pretty thick. I'm not seeing any loose threads. And you know what? I think this is going to be pretty warm, too. It's cute, right? Just a plain black skirt. Anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out my Instagram and my other social medias. Also, be sure to check out my uh, Etsy shop if you haven't where I make uh, st stickers and um, I'll do character drawings if you wish you know like you could always DM me on my Instagram and we could talk about it there 
if, you, if there's an anime character you want me to draw or something, I'd be happy to do it. Also, make sure to check out my sister's YouTube channel if you haven't. Um, if you're a big fan of Monster High, Ever After High, and Dial Unboxings, the channel, her channel is for, <laughs> is for you. I am so sorry I messed that up terribly. I'm telling you. Um, getting out of breath is so exhausting. <laughs> and Mizuki would like to say goodbye too, as she was right next to me. Anyways, once again, thank you for watching. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.